Right on. Ill-advised with seven days. And uh, Mike and I talked to, talked to Harry, who is ill-advised uh, a couple weeks ago, about two weeks ago. And he's a super cool guy, <clears throat> a lot of fun. And we learned a lot about Masochist. Like, what a tripped out, kind of crazy, the deep, kind of dark and disturbing album it really is. And that's definitely a good thing. And it comes out June 2nd. And we will get an advanced copy very soon, so we can go through all the tracks one by one, like we did with... Uh, um, Parkway Divide, his first album, but man, what a piece of work this is, and it is just a mix of, like, uh, uh, electronic pop and, like, industrial alternative, and I, I, I don't want to say emo just because when I think of emo, I, I think of, like, a mix of, like, Weezer, Get Up Kids, and that sort of thing, and, and like, a kind of surface <laughs> sense sort of thing. I don't, I don't think of, of industrial mixed with pop, you know? I, I mean, and that, that's not a slight, it's just, just my personal opinion. Either way, I mean, it's it's a great tune, and I love the album. I heard the album. Uh, he uh, can afford me a, some of a copy, not a copy I can play, but either way, great tune and great album. I can't wait for it to come out. Yeah, it's, it, it is fantastic. And I, I, same, I've heard the, uh, the preview, but obviously I haven't got, actually sort of physically got the tracks. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a fantastic album. It's great fun talking to him. And you're right, there's loads in there because it's kind of got – an industrial electronic thing going on. It's got a punk thing going on. It uh, has got a, you know, whether you call it emo or there's almost a little bit of new metal in, in, in thrown into that kind of side of it as well. Um, it, it, it's got a pop element and everything, and it's it's just fascinating actually. You know, that, that's it, that track alone. I'm not talking about the album. I'm talking about that song. <laughs> you know, the, the album is just like whoa. <laughs> there's so much. It's unbelievable. Uh, but yeah, he, he's a fantastic guy, and it's all. As you say, it's got a, a kind of a, a dark quality. It's all very alternative as well, um, which which we obviously love. And uh, and there's just lots of threads and layers and um, you know things that overlap with each other, which I think is really really cool. And the way that he writes his music, he's a proper good guy. Absolutely, I've and said many times before. And, yeah, um, and hand, yeah. hands down, the best explanation to an album I've ever heard in my life. Like be, <laughs> going through family history and and finding like. Uh, 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 an old family member had syphilis. Was it was committed to an asylum for a year? Like holy crap, man! Like, wow. <laughs> yeah. No, fantastic not, story, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. That's something you're expecting, but really cool. So next up, uh, the next band we have is a band called Marathon, and I've been a fan of Marathon for a number of years now. And they and they finished their album Chrome Waves, which uh, I got a copy of, and uh, I played a, a song of theirs off the uh, well before the album came out, close to a year ago now. And off their first time as well, and they, they did send me a T-shirt and some stickers and some and a whole, whole bunch of things like the CD signed and the whole thing, and a great band. And uh, these guys, I'm, I'm glad the album's finally finished because uh, these guys are a great band. So the band is called Marathon. The song is called Dead of Night. Dig this.
Dawn. That was Marathon with Dead of Night off their new album, Chrome Waves. And that was a really cool song. And I compared them before because they do sound and they do have some influence off of Radiohead. And what a great flow. I mean, there's some family members in there as well. Like the vocally, they're really in tune. I really enjoyed the song. That's a brilliant track. I, I love the fact that it, 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 it kind of... Uh, you, like you say, actually, you can hear the Radiohead influence and, and, and all that sort of stuff. And then it sort of burst into this almost disco-like uh, um, uh, section. Uh, and then it goes back to a kind of uh, more sort of indie alternative uh, alt-rock kind of thing. And then it bursts into another disco thing. And then later on, you've got these little guitar licks that you know could be in a Spanish guitar concerto or a... Or a Eddie Van Halen solo, it's kind of cool, like it just kind of, uh, those little runs and stuff where they run up the scale, which is really nicely uh, weaved into the track at the end. Uh, I assume they're a guitar, I assume I'm on a keyboard, I don't even know, but it was just, um, the whole thing was fantastic, I really, really enjoyed that, and I, I love, as I say, those bursts of energy that punctuate the song uh, so perfectly, I thought it was really, really nicely done. Right on. So next up, we have a brand new one from uh, Texas Mod Crushers. This one's called 650 SS, and I'm for, I guess it's referring to I'm gonna guess referring to uh, the the motor on like a like a crotch rocket, not necessarily, not necessarily a um, actual motorcycle. But uh, hopefully, I'm right with that one. So let's get to 650 SS. This is Texas Mod Crushers. Dig this. <laughs> 